Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jessica. Meat production is not only cruel, but it also brings with it a host of threats to China's and the world's fragile ecology. If you want to go green, go veggie, writes Jiang Jinsong, doctor of Tsinghua University Institute of Science, Technology, and Society. Catastrophes such as the blue-green algae that choked the Taihu Lake appear daily in our TV screens. And in our newspaper, protecting our environment may today be the biggest challenge that faces humanity. Many will turn to science for a solution, but reality demonstrates that relying on science alone will not lead to success unless we change our lifestyle. Scientific advances will only accelerate damage to the environment in certain respects. Vegetarianism is a higher moral choice. It avoids the killing and the enslavement of animals, and it helps protect the environment. Now, I will give a more specific and deeper introduction of the relationship between vegetarianism and environmental protection. The converting of food to meat involves massive waste of natural resources. Any given area of land. Can support twenty times as many vegetarians as meat eaters. South Africa's tropical rainforests are being felled to provide pasture for livestock, and even these pastures are not used in sustainable manner and are quickly abandoned. Every hamburger results in the loss of around six point twenty five cubic meters of forest. Industrialized farming also creates massive amounts of pollution. Figures show that every kilogram of beef requires 10,000 liters of water and produces 14 kilograms of excrement. More dung is produced in that environment that can cope with, and since it cannot all be used as fertilizer, it ends up in the natural world. The increased organism. Has in, has led to the increase of methane in nature, which is also one of the important vectors of global warming. It has led to the accumulation of harmful chemicals in never longer food chains, the appearance of pharmaceutical additives in animal fodder, and the loss of the topsoil due to ever grazing. History shows that our current lifestyle and values. Are not conducive to solving this problem issues. Yet, if we adjusted our ways, this could be done. Vegetarians, simply by resisting the temptation of meat, can avoid contributing to this problem. There are the effects of the increasing demand for meat. The huge demand for meat has promoted the development of animal husbandry and weakened the development of agriculture. Once the forests and other green plants, as the length of the earth, are reduced to a certain extent, the earth will be overwhelmed. Till now, I have already introduced you how being a vegetarian can benefit the environment, and finished my main content of today's speech. You may also have a deeper understanding of the relationship between vegetarianism and environmental protection. Vegetarianism is an up-and-coming youth movement in China and even in the whole world, promoted by those with a sense of science and environmental responsibility. It has a bright future, and people who care about the environment should pay attention and maybe even join in. Thank you.